ね。Okay, I think it's fine. I'm just going to hold it in front of my space heater for a little bit. So, anyway, I was trying to show you my cute cup. Hey, this is my cup. Um, this, is what, this is not what I was trying to show you. I bought this in Yellow Springs, Ohio. I lived in Cincinnati for a minute. I really liked it there. The city is wonderful. But now I live in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. Michigan. I don't sound right today. I don't feel super great. I think I used up all of my energy and excitement yesterday. Uh, Dr. Partner was so impressed by my little woodworking thing. And he's been working on whittling that he took us on an impromptu, impromptu shopping trip to Green Bay. And we went to Woodcraft Store and a few other places. And oh boy, howdy. Well, I guess I told you that already earlier, but it was really fun. And now I'm really tired. And I still have to go outside and shovel some more snow. And that's okay. But I wanted to show you my cute... Stanley thermos that I picked out. Isn't that nice? He loves it. This is the one that he picks. If he takes one out, he picks this one. And I'm like, I know, I have great taste. Alright, also, I got this. I didn't know this existed. Tight, tight bond is not letting me down. Please sponsor me. Um, they make super glue for wood and it comes in different formulas. I chose the medium one because it gave me a little bit of working time, but not like so much. I love it. And then I'm going to build Dr. Partner a little greenhouse with, this is a base. This is a piece of wood left over from uh, a shelf that he built at our cabin. And I'm going to, I'm going to turn it into the base of the greenhouse and it's going to be, you know, it's going to be the floor. Be tall and have lots of shelves and I want to put it'll be like a Victorian style greenhouse lots of curves and I'm gonna make little polymer clay plants for him because he also bought me uh, some polymer clay so I could do that I want to learn how to do something called the cane tutorial like making cane making technique and you make like a long skinny spaghetti of a pattern and then you cut it out and it's like all these leaves so I've got to figure out how to do it. So today, but I'm not going to start that greenhouse just yet. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll surprise them. No, I'm going to start by drying. I'm going to think it through first. So today, I'm thinking I want to do some paint paint samples on the wall, paint swatches, how, how cute would that be, right? So then I want to do it with like a little paint roller or something. I'm going to make the paint roller and I found the perfect fabric for it. This is an insert from one of my baby's like newborn cloth diapers and we were in Mexico so long that she outgrew them so she never really got to wear these and I'm going to take some of the fabric from one side and I think it would be the perfect thing for the like little paint roller part. And there's so much fabric here, I could make so many paint rollers. And this is the small size of straw from Starbucks. And it just happens to be the perfect snug fit for, for the paint roller there. Right? Like, 
paint. And then I have this washer that'll go on this side of the paint roller and then this nut to hold it on, right? And then I was gonna do a nice little handle on the bottom. And then I've also decided that I would like a paintbrush. So I'm gonna make a very small paintbrush and I'm gonna harvest some of the stuff from this paintbrush to do it. This thing has been through a lot and it was a cheap chip paintbrush from Harbor Freight. I love Harbor Freight. And I'm gonna make it look kinda of like this one, but not as nice obviously. I shouldn't do that right over my coffee cup, whatever. Anyway, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start doing stuff. These are the paint colors that I am considering. Here, hold on. Okay, that's probably enough. I have to remember that as I film this, I should probably get those aesthetic shots while I can. They will make the final video better, and if I want to sit around and make miniature like little projects all the time, uh, I didn't get the best one. I got a good one. Um, Anyway, if I want to be entertaining enough for y'all, I should get the prettiest photos and the best shots, right? Like, look at my window like, oh, aesthetic, aesthetic. Okay, a runner up for the fabric on the paint roller was going to be dried up water wipes because I left a package open because they are designed in a stupid way and it's difficult to make sure that this gets closed again and I'm supposed to put this package inside of something else to keep this from happening and I clearly didn't so anyway this fabric was going to be probably pretty good as a paint roller but I think that this is going to look better and it you know it's probably going to work a little bit better too like I hate to take a detour from this but I think it's so worth it to build like little cute little tools and then I can do the cutest the cutest little paint swatches on the wall like come on how wonderful I don't want to cover up my aesthetic window light That'll be fine. Okay, I don't think Type Bond has a a part in today's story. But you know, instant bond. Toy instant bond here though. Ooh, I wanna I wanna use that. 
Okay, hold on. Let me go get the stuff. Okay, that's so nice. It was right behind me the whole time. Uh, this waxed thread from a previous obsession, I forget which, this would make a perfect handle. So I'm just going to go ahead and just knock that out now. And I thought I had some fun new glue. But maybe I don't. Maybe I left it. Maybe I left it at Alexandra's house. I have some gate. Here we go. This might work. This might work later. We'll see. Anyway. I keep, okay, I don't know why I need to say this out loud. Um, I don't know. I might get in trouble. I don't know. I don't know, man. Never mind. Look at these fun little scissors I found. They are curved at the end. I think they are for nails. They are perfect for this. <clears throat> okay, I love, I love that it's even-ish. Oh, how fun. I look up in I'm sorry. But, oh, how fun. It happened. Whatever. I don't know if this is going to hold it on there or not. I just, I really want it to. Oh, that's a lot. Ooh. Now I might touch it. So the thought here is if I wrap it around, 
it will I'll make it fatter in the middle and kind of skinnier on the sides and then it will look really good like a handle for that for now. Okay, at first I was just kind of putting it wherever, and now I'm trying to actually make it kind of orderly. This is waxed thread, in case I didn't say that. You can get it just about anywhere that sells crafting stuff. I think they have it in the leatherworking section at most crafting stores like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. There's a Okay. Well <laughs> dang it. That's a little irritating. It's okay though. It doesn't matter. You know, so it's not, it's not like gorgeous, but I think if I go a little bit more in the middle and kind of like make it a little oval, not quite a whole oval, but just a little bit fatter in the middle, then maybe it'll, it'll look like a handle. I'm pulling on this like so hard right now. Okay. 
You know, and if I'm ever in an emergency survival crafting situation, I will have some wax thread available to me in the form of my tiny paint roller, you know? Between it and this, I mean, this, this, whole, this whole paint roller right here could be the difference between life and death because of the materials that I've chosen in its construction. choosing to do it, so I have nothing to complain about. I am thrilled to be here. My hand hurts. That is just part of the game. Okay, I think that's going to be enough. <laughs> and if I mush it down a little bit with my fingers, um, I think that'll be great. There, see, it's just like, it's very, it's very ergonomic. Just very easy to hold. That didn't stick at all. Well, maybe he... It is waxed thread, so I'm holding it in front of my space heater. Maybe it, I'm not gonna let it catch on fire. That made two threads come out. Maybe I just never noticed this. I did a sloppy job. You know, a little bit, I'm kind of glad that those were out of place. Because now that I've taken some of the thread off, I like it better. So that's not going to work. Maybe a different kind of glue will work. I don't remember what kind of glue this is, but it, it seems to work on everything. I'll show it to you next time I have to refill this bottle, which, you know, it will occur in this series. I'll link it in the description. How about that? Oh, the glue got onto this? Oh, no. Oh, it worked really well. Rest in peace. Oh, that sucks. Well, at least I know the super glue works extremely well on that.
Okay, I like that. What a bummer. Now it's like It would be neat if this background surface here was like super glue proof. Like you could not get super glue stuck to this. That would be cool. I'm just gonna have to, it's just gonna have to be there, I guess. All right, well, whatever. That's a bummer. I really wanted to have more. I was going to have a pack of six rollers, and now I can have a pack of five. Unless I go back to Starbucks. Man, why did I only get one? I didn't think it was going to fit, you know? And I didn't want to just be the girl that stole a bunch of straws from Starbucks. I bought something. I bought those egg bites. Okay. Here's my thought. Those egg bites are, those bacon greer egg bites are freaking delicious. And how dare you charge like north of $5.50 with tax, like somewhere like five, like between $5.50 and $6. How dare you, Starbucks, how dare you charge that much money for two bites? They are too, and you cannot tell me. You handed me a fork like I was supposed to use it. That's more than a $2.50 bite, okay? This. For the price, you know darn well you could give me like six of those. It's just, it's eggs and bacon and like Greer cheese. It's cheese. It's cheese makes itself. If you just give it time and space and you do the 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 effort to do the cheese, it's really it makes itself. Once you have one cheese. Once you have the capability of making one cheese, you can make cheese forever. If you felt like it. Anyway, Starbucks. That's rich people food. And, and it hurt my feelings because I am not rich. And I wanted more of those bites. Over two fifty per bite. They're they are so good. You know, I always wondered if there was something else in the middle of this, and there is. It's just another layer of this. So, like triple bonus by sacrificing one of these cloth diaper baby inserts here, I have the ability to make cloth rollers for my. <laughs> for my miniature paint roller a lifetime supply I have this I'll never run out of this if I've run out I'll, I will if I run out of these if I run out of this fabric I will return to this video I'll make a new video referencing this moment and I'll have like a party or something and maybe I'll do like a highlight reel thanking this Alva baby Diaper insert, newborn sized cloth diaper insert. Maybe I will show you all the times that I used it. Because it's against the law for me to film something without. Oh, wait. <laughs> it's against the law for me to craft something without filming it, is what I, I think it has been decided. 
That's the reason why I'm right here right now filming for you talking to my telephone in a room by myself while my baby sleeps downstairs next to my space heater because it is very cold outside. These scissors are absolutely horrible and I need to do better but I don't I don't cut cloth very often. I have a whole sewing machine set up that I don't even know how to use yet that I want to make clothes for my baby but here I am making taking apart her things to make miniature paint paint roller. That's not good. That's bad mom stuff. Oof. way better. Actually, I should be just cutting off this this entire time. I should have just been doing that. red lint inside this. In between the layers. I mean, I guess it could have been something that was on my scissors, but I doubt it. I haven't cut over there yet. supply of paint roller fabric from Alpha Baby. That's really nice. It's exactly two paint rollers wide. So, very good. That's really cool. Yeah, I think that's going to be great. No, oh, it's pretty fragile. But hopefully I can get Hopefully I can get it to stop shedding, maybe with like a little bit of glue or something. I don't want it to shed into the paint. 
when I use it as a paperwork. So I'm going to make these. I did buy some other, I didn't buy any straws. I did go get some other straws. Dr. Partner went and got uh, little cheeseburgers from McDonald's. So he got a straw. Okay, I'm gonna have five little paint rollers, but then I have picked out one, two, five, six, seven, eight, like nine, nine um, paint colors. I'm gonna go get my other straws. I should have brought them upstairs. So Starbucks is saying don't put your, your straws in your hot cups anymore. I haven't bought a Starbucks drink in a long time, so this is new to me. So I have this one, and then I have one from McDonald's. It doesn't say anything. So they're almost the same size, but they're not. They wobble around, oh, just like, just like. <laughs> See, like they're, they are almost the same size. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, um, but you know, I like the small one, but. <laughs> Not as good. Oh wait, wait, what? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. It's like a perfect fit. So if you needed to sturdy up some plastic tubing for your build, if you take a Starbucks a large Starbucks Starbucks large straw it'll go with the McDonald's straw and get really you know really rigid if you put them together okay neat okay well I can make as many paint rollers as I want so I think I'm gonna make a bunch today will be my fun side project day that allows me to embrace getting off topic, but then it's all for the greater good. So, you know, side quest. Today is a side quest day. One day I want to have a desk that has like a, a hole where I can open it and sweep all of my mess and just right into it. I'm gonna build it and I hope I can go back to this moment in time in video. Look at that. I think that looks great. Bam. And then, I don't know about this. I might. Should just leave it. Original thought, now that I'm seeing it, I, I imagined this closer to here so that it would be like flush. It's not too late. By the end of the day, if I still want to do it, I'll undo that and I'll put it back. And if I don't want to undo it, 
it was fine. Okay, that's, I hope this is going to end up being like so many paint rollers that I can just fall back onto this stock here and use, use these paint rollers, use this, and, until I make a better one. And in every video where I make a room, for a while, I hope, right? Right. Yeah, I don't know. I hope I can not have to worry about the lint so much. We'll see. And I'm gonna put something down because that's super glue really sticks. Oh no, how do I get them apart now? Okay, it's not so bad. Oh, well. Okay. Nope, it's just gonna be easier. Sorry.
flew across the room. Okay, McDonald's is not even in this made up measurement that I made up. This much was left. Oh, I see the straw. All right. Okay, I wasn't counting, so hopefully I have enough. I'm so tempted to use my wood glue, super glue, but I know it's not going to work, so... Oh, there it goes. Just a little bit, though. Whatever, is that enough? <laughs> it can't, it's not very instant when you can't get it out. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that. It just, it just happened. Okay, no, the washer's not going to be necessary. Oh, what a bummer. Okay, maybe I can shave this down and it'll turn. Okay, if I do it... I think it needs to be just like a little bit shorter.
it works. All right. I love it. Sun is right on me, that's why. Aesthetic. <laughs> Hey Stanley, what's up? I am probably not gonna ever want to carry around one of your water bottle thermos, one of your water bottle things with a straw. Not for me. However, I do really like your thermoses. I think I have enough though. I've got plenty, but Doctor Partner keeps stealing that one. The specifically the the, the Pendleton. Buffalo check one, he keeps taking it. And it's the one that I picked out with my phenomenal taste. I'm trying to figure out how to keep this beautiful cup and frame, let's be honest. Oh my god, this is so freaking cute. I can't believe it. It came out so nice. Is this the thumbnail? I want it to be, maybe I'll crop it. Oh no, whatever. I, mm -hmm. this is so good. I really like how this is going. Just line them up here. And two little rows because it's fun. Why not? Crooked. Okay, I'm going to have a total of 19 rolls. <laughs> I would have 20, but then I accidentally spilled the glue. You know, it might still work. It might still work. I'm going to try it. Why not? Why not? Why not? I think I cut all of these too big. Okay, this is not going to work. I'm going to have to figure out a way for different glue. But there isn't one. I think this is just going to have to be it. I'm going to have to figure it out. What a bummer. Maybe if I wasn't so cheap. And I've replaced my supplies, it would be great, but no. I like the struggle. I don't know. This is kind of like a treat to me, just to be able to use this stuff. And it's kind of mind-blowing that I'm already having to struggle to get it out of the bottle. Oh, that looks pretty.
If you can hear me swallow, I um, am really sorry. Uh, if you can hear me at all, Gorilla, Gorilla, gorilla um, please sponsor me. You know what's fun is I'm going to need to trim down all of the length or the length of every one of these that I'm making and that is going to result in a bunch of tiny little little round paint roller things for perhaps an even smaller future paint roller. Like if I cut this and reform it into a smaller circle, I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, this is microfiber for the insert. And before you start flipping out on me, moms have such loud opinions on the internet, I've learned this year. Um, I'm not doing these straight. Anyway, these go, these are wrapped inside layers of other fabric and never touch the baby. So microfiber is okay and it's very absorbent and it helps these diapers work. So you can just put your keyboard back where it goes instead of over your head. That was traumatic, I'm sorry. <laughs> I still worry that I'm going to get some mean comments about the most silly thing because it happens all the time on my TikTok. It'll be something that isn't even on my radar of things that potentially even could possibly even maybe be offensive to anybody. And then I'll get blown up <laughs> about it. I think this is the perfect, I think super glue is the perfect adhesive for this project because it is plastic. The straw is plastic and super glue really likes to adhere plastic together. Oh, I think I got some of my thumb. Did I? No. I really hate to say, but I'm so impressed with myself right now. <laughs> if this exact design already exists, you know, you were also a genius and I didn't copy you. This, I feel like this came right out of my brain, but there are no original thoughts. So maybe it didn't, maybe I saw it somewhere. 
But I feel like I came up with this one. Oh no. I was a little worried that the color of the straws was going to be a factor. And I'm really glad that it is not. But yeah, Gorilla, if you start sponsoring me, I will turn the bottle over. And then that way they won't feel like it's a commercial, am I right? You know what I'm saying? They'll just be like, ooh. No, no, that's not how it's gonna go. Whatever, I am. Um, I have a, <clears throat> excuse me. I have an Amazon storefront. If you want any of the stuff that I'm using, you can go get it. It doesn't cost you any more money at all. Zero. But I get some money and I, it's like so little, but it is more than zero. And because of that, I want some. So I've got the links to everything I'm using in the description. And if you want it, you can go buy it on Amazon. If that is a place that you shop. It is a place that I occasionally shop, but I am no longer a Prime member because I found out as long as you're buying at least $35 worth of stuff, which is easy to do, you still get free shipping. So what's the point? I don't watch any of the TV or use any of the other services. I pay for Audible. So... If Audible was free with it, that would be one thing, but it's not. So, um... Yeah, I canceled it. I found out it was up to over like 160 some odd dollars a year. That's a lot. I saw the charge come out of my account and I thought somebody had figured out how to steal some money from me. I was like, oh my god, what is this? It's Amazon. I canceled that shit so fast. I was like, holy crap, I don't need this. And it was fine when it was actually two day shipping, but I live in the middle of nowhere. There's no two day shipping here. What's the point? And I'll tell you, most of the stuff that I'm looking at buying these days anyway is like little crafting whatever and almost a hundred percent of the time if I want a thing that I find on Amazon I can find it on Timu for way cheap. And I heard that people were having problems with their credit cards or whatever on Timu. Don't use your credit card on it or your debit card like ever. Oh my God. Use a PayPal, make a PayPal. And I, I mean, I've been paying through PayPal and I can't say that it's foolproof, but I can say in my personal experience, I haven't had any trouble with any kind of like money fraud or overcharging or anything because I use the PayPal. So, you know, if you were curious about shopping with that app, use the PayPal. Don't let anybody take any of your money. It's really hard to get money. <laughs> Don't let anybody take yours. It would be neat if I have more. But, you know, you know, you know. Things are getting way easier because of the hard work of Dr. Partner. He's out there doctoring right now, like right now. I'm so grateful. And I'm making tiny paint rollers. <laughs> oh my God. And I thought this would end up being like a lifetime supply, but I've picked like nine paint, nine paints to test with my museum. So this, I'm going to use like half of them up right away. 
but I did get a bonus one in the form of the one that I thought would be too broken to use. It was fine. And while I have gotten some of this on my hands, uh, it hasn't been a tremendous amount. And I am surprised to say that I've already used up one of the layers. And so perhaps this one sacrificed infant newborn diaper insert, perhaps it wasn't a lifetime supply as I earlier thought. It looks like based on this, I'll get somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe upper 40s or 50 paint rollers out of one diaper insert, maybe? I still wonder about this red lint. Oh, look, the light has moved. Now I can do a better beauty shot. Uh, no, damn it. No, I can't. It's down there now. Is this a thumbnail? Is... Is this the thumbnail? I don't know. Okay, I have a question that would save the, the, the answer to this question. I'm going to start over. That sounds really stupid. So I am wondering if there are ways to edit my videos where I can have like an AI or something go and automatically delete all of the dead space in my videos where I'm not moving any at all. Like if my hands are not in the frame and nothing is moving, can I have it just auto clip at those points for me? And then I can decide if I want to delete them or can it delete them automatically for me? That would be tremendously helpful. I would also separately like that ability for audio too, because if you can't tell by hearing the uncut, unedited, I, sometimes I think in slow motion and my thoughts will come out in bursts <laughs> and a sentence will take several seconds and I have to clip those thoughts together for some of my, um, you know, snappier content over on that children's dance app where I post and that's not it's just so funny to me that that is what TikTok started as and now it is this incredible so many people use it that there is everything on it and that is wild to me But anyway, so I've had a little bit of success over on that app, which has been really fun. But for those videos, if I were to speak at this pace, oh my god, um, the attention spans are just, they are not there. It, th those videos would not work out. I actually think I've posted a couple where I just don't really take all the space out. And I think one of the comments with something akin to uh, me, I, I speak in slow motion and I'm like, oh my God, stop it. So,
Anyway, if anybody knows how to help me out with that and tell me if there's an AI that will do any of this for me, it would really speed, it would really speed up my process a lot. Uh, and I'm hoping it's not through an Adobe product because I already pay for Adobe. I pay for Photoshop and Lightroom so that I can edit pictures of my baby. And because once upon a time, ow, for a really long time, I was a professional photographer and now I have a baby. So when I take pictures of her, well, they're really good. Um, anyway, so I pay for that already and I don't want to have to also pay for making movies on it or whatever. I use the CapCut right now. It's free. It's free. I think it let me pay $10 for a year of it. I don't think that's true. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. But anyway, so here's, here's my pile of, is this, a, is this the thumbnail? Is that, is this, is that the thumbnail? What about that? Okay. Uh oh, <laughs> some of these are not dry yet. Oh my. Oh, I just, I love it. I love how these are turning out. They are so cute. Anyway, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to go live on TikTok for a little bit and that footage isn't going to be in here. It's just going to be me trimming. So, you know, you just saw me trim two of them. I'm just going to do that to the rest of them. And then I'll pick back up when it's time to start doing some paint swatches because I'm definitely going to film that right. Anyway. Oh, sorry. That was a big stretch. That was great. Goodbye.